MOB Advanced provides two ways to maintain sales prices, namely default prices and price lists. Default prices is where we define and maintain a price for each individual item. The default price is used for sales. We can use discounts with these prices, but there is no history of price changes when using default pricing only. With price lists, on the other hand, we can set up different pricing strategies by defining a base price list. Price lists that apply to a group of customers or a single customer, promotional price lists and prices that depend on the quantity of the product. So in this training video, we'll look at both default prices and price lists, as well as price worksheets and how to create, maintain and configure them in the MOB Advanced system. To complete our overview of this, we'll be using the stock item Nero Solomon Queen Bed. So before we continue, let's have a closer look at the stock item. For this, we'll navigate from Inventory to Profiles, Stock Items and search for the Nero Solomon Queen Bed stock item. Right away, you'll notice the color change in the files icon on the left, indicating an attachment. And if we click on that and open the PDF, we will see an image of the stock item. So now that we know what we'll be working with, let's look at the pricing of this item. For this, let's open the stock item. And on the price cost info tab, note the default price. The logic is that the default price is used first. So let's look at a sales order now for a customer that we know is not on a sales price. We'll look at sales prices a bit later on. From the sales order menu, let's open the sales orders form in a new tab. And add a new sales order. Let's select BA Industries as our customer. Then add a new line and add the Nero Solomon Queen Bed as our inventory item. Note the default price of 1750 that's been used. Let's save the sales order now. We've noticed now that the system will use the default price. However, if there is a base price, then that price is used instead. So looking at the second way now of maintaining prices in MOB Advanced, namely with price lists, let's navigate from sales orders to profiles and select to open sales prices in a new tab. Now let's review the price type of base for the stock item. So let's filter from our inventory ID column. Here you'll notice the base price which in fact is the same as the default price for this item, but we can change it on this form. So let's change the base price now to $1,700 and save. Also note the effective and expiration date here for the different prices. Now we can put this to test and create a new sales order. Let's do this for the same customer BA Industries. Then add a row and let's select our inventory item. You'll notice that MOB Advanced has now used the base price for this item according to our setup on sales prices. Let's save these changes. Back on our sales prices form, this price here is historic because of MOB Advanced's ability to have effective and expiration dates, giving us the ability to store and track the history of prices and price changes. So let's review what we talked about. The system will first use the default price. Then it works to base price. The next specific price that can overwrite is the customer price class. If we look at our price list, you'll notice a customer price class where a price was specified for price class B. This means that all customers belonging to this price class will get the price indicated here. So let's find a customer belonging to price class B. For this, let's navigate to receivables and from profiles, open the customers form in a new tab. And select ABC Studios to open the customers form for them. On the delivery settings tab, in the default location settings, the price class for this customer is indicated as B. 
This setting is designed to give specific categories for pricing for our customers. So we can proceed with a new sales order. This time for ABC Studios. Let's add a new line now and select our stock item. Now you'll notice the unit price has not been affected and the system still uses the base price of $1,700. This is because a break quantity of 4 has been indicated on the price list for this rule. This means that in order to qualify for the special price, customers belonging to price class B must order at least 4 items. So let's change the quantity of our sales order to 4. And now the unit price is updated to the special price according to this customer's price class. We can now save these changes. Overruling the customer price class is the customer specific price. You'll notice that we have a specific customer price of $1,600 saved here for our customer Border Shop. So let's see how a sales order for Border Shop will look like. Let's add a new sales order. And in the customer field, select Border Shop. Now we can add a new line and select our Nero 1 stock item. The discounted price of $1,600 for this customer will populate straight away as there is no break quantity indicated for this rule. Let's save the changes. Back on the sales prices form, you'll notice another rule right below this one giving even further discount for our customer Border Shop when they order four or more of our Nero Queen beds. This price will automatically take effect when an order of four or more items is placed for this customer. So you can see that this form is very versatile and MOB Advance supplies a whole lot of functionality with it, including the ability to change the prices for the different rules by simply typing in new values. Also working with effective and expiration dates, which allows for the availability of historical prices and of course the ability to use break quantities and warehouses. It's also really easy to add a new rule. Simply click on the Add Row button and in the Price Type column, we can select between Base, Customer and Customer Price Class. Depending our selection year, the next column will either display a list of customers where the price type of customer was selected or a list of our price classes where the price type of customer price class was selected. The rest of the line can then be completed by selecting the inventory ID, break quantity, price and effective date. The filter options on this form makes it easy to narrow down the table content to view only selected items. For example, at the moment we see all the prices for all the price types but we can select here to view only our base prices. We can also filter on an effective date, which gives us the ability to view only the items with an effective date that is current. We can also filter on a specific warehouse or price class, price manager or price workgroup. MOB Advanced also allows us to create sales price worksheets. So let's select the price type as customer and an effective date and click on Create Price Worksheet. Now we have created a new price worksheet. We can leave the status as on hold for now. We can enter in a description, let's say P&A Pricing. We can also change the effective date here if we want to. And if we click on Promotional, it allows for us to define an expiration date. So let's say this price worksheet is only available for the month of June. We then have a few options down here to select from. We can add items to our worksheet from here. We can use the filters at the top to narrow down the search criteria. And then we can individually select off the items we would like to include in our price worksheet. Alternatively, we can select to add all items to our price worksheet. We can then select add and close. Another option in the grid toolbar is to copy prices. This will open the Copy Prices dialog box from where we can copy prices from the selection we specified, for example, Customer Price Class, to a new price worksheet for another customer. This way, we can move prices from different types of pricing over. 
another option here is to calculate pending prices. Now you'll notice that all the items in here have source pricing. These are the prices that's in the system currently. So from the pending prices dialog box, we can select our basis. For example, in this case, the source price will be used as our starting price. Then in the price adjustment section, we can indicate the percentage of the original price. For example, 80% representing a 20% discount. Once we click on update, the prices will populate in the pending price column according to our selections. MOB Advance provides this functionality to provide us with pricing without having to use an Excel sheet for these type of calculations. Another option on the pending price dialog box is to use the MSRP as basis price. This price, also known as the Recommended Retail Price or RRP, is indicated on the Price Cost Info tab of each stock item. So, we might say that we would like to go in just below the RRP to ensure we have competitive prices. Again now the Pending Price column will be updated accordingly. Another way of calculating pending prices is by selecting the option Last Cost plus Market Percentage. By selecting this option, we're telling the system to look up the last cost value for each item and to add to that the market percentage indicated on the item. So for this stock item here, it will take the last cost price of $1,100 in this case and add to that 10%, bringing the total to $1,210. Another way to add records to our sales price worksheet is by importing them. Suppose one of our suppliers sends us a price sheet of their promotional items for a specific month. What we can do is to click on this import file icon and if we have the price sheet available in Excel with the inventory ID and sales price we can upload it from the file upload dialog box. If we change our dates in accordance with when they run their special we will have their entire price sheet available in our system. So if we are happy with all our selections for this price worksheet, we can save it and then take it off hold and release it. And this brings us to the end of our overview of sales prices in MOB Advanced. Please let us know with your feedback. Join us again for more as we explore MOB Advanced through our training videos. Thank you for watching.